Good morning, everyone, and again, welcome to welcome to another day in uh, the uh, adventures of life. Okay, so uh, so yeah, yesterday I ate some food and stuff like that after I uh, cooked it up and everything. It turned out pretty good. Uh, the one pot that's not um, nonstick kind of burned a bit, even with cooking noodles. And I was like, okay, well, there's a note for that one. Uh, the, the, the heating pots that have the stainless steel on them, probably not the best to use if you're not watching it, not constantly stirring it, and also if you don't want to clean it. So if you don't want to clean something, the nonstick is better. I know, I know, the chemicals and all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. Um, all the things. So that's a personal choice. You know, if it's worth it, great. If it's not, you know, clean that pot, bro. It'll be okay. But anyway, not the point of the story. Point of the story is that uh, I survived my meal. Yay. But shortly after that, um, I decided to take a nap. And I was like, you know what? I'll do more organizing and cleaning this front room here in the morning, right? It'll be fine. Well, here's the thing. Is that I went to bed and woke up at about 8, 30, 9 o'clock um, and decided to go back to bed. Um, cause I'd only been getting like four or five hours of sleep, which could be a reason why I wasn't, uh, really being too productive and why I was tired all the time and you know, stuff like that. So this morning I've got my, my coffee, I'm having the same brand of coffee and chocolate and stuff that I did yesterday. Cause I kind of like that. That was pretty good. Um, so now, uh, we're just going to have a chat. So cleaning up the morning uh, the living room and getting that reorganized and that's gonna be a project because there are things that need to be done so it's gonna be an all-day thing but first after coffee I am gonna go to the post office and pick up my Timu order there are a few things I got um, when I was going through my I want to be distracted from life right now because my friend was uh, had just recently gone into the hospital and so of course I went down the shopping hole because before it would be I go to the stores and stuff and now I, I don't go to the stores and shop anymore um, just go to Timu go online Amazon whatever it is I need to do right and uh, so yeah so I got a lot of things and there are two packages that are lost they split these things up into four different packages which is great because they're not using a box. They're just using, you know, a uh, freaking bag. So things get broken or whatever or smushed in. So far, I haven't been too bad with that. This is the first time I've actually had something get lost. Now, a stra let me tell you a strange thing that happened with this team thing, right? So I placed, you know, fairly large order, you know, and stuff. And uh, four orders were split up into multiple packages right for various reasons so I was getting you know one package to here one package there and stuff but four different orders were supposed to be delivered yesterday and usually they put it to when they do the on track they'll go right to my doorstep which I like I like that a lot I don't have to go anywhere it's great well this time they didn't go to my doorstep and I was like oh and I got a little notification at the package center there was a package for me now, when packages are, are dropped off the package center, they should be in a locker, right? Not always the case. I'm just going to come to my next point. So I go to the locker and I carry my little wagon because I, I don't know how many or how big or, or what I'm getting, right? Well, come to find out it was all four Timu packages. When I opened it, I found out it was all four of them that were supposed to be delivered in one package. Four different orders in the same package and wrapped up in a bunch of tape. I'm like, I sus, bros, sus. So I went through everything. Um, there were things I'm giving to two of my friends that I'm gonna uh, see here pretty soon for probably the last pool day, first and last pool day for a long time you know, um, and things like that. And I'm like, this is, 
I'm like, okay. Now I've got a couple of packages that have that arrived, went through customs, and haven't been tracked since. So I have one package to pick up at the post office. Now this is what I'm hoping. I am hoping that it was picked up and they just didn't scan it or something and it's waiting on me. That's what I'm hoping. You know? Otherwise I, I get a refund. If they don't find it, I get a refund for I think pretty much the entire order. So because it says uh, I believe it'll say they can't do individuals or something like that. Or maybe they can, I don't know. We're gonna find out. So that's why I'm going to the post office. I know I have at least one package there. I'm hoping there will be more. Or maybe I come home, there's going to be a package on my doorstep or whatever, right? With the missing ones. Now, I had just gotten the Timu package and I had started looking into it. And I looked at my phone, you know, because you check the time and stuff. And I saw that my Amazon order had been delivered. So, okay. I look at my doorstep, there's no Amazon order. I look at the picture they took. It's at the package center. And guess where it's not at? It's not in a locker. It's on the floor for anyone to get. I'm like, you pieces of shit. So of course I made a complaint because I've had things stolen before that, you know, it is a good thing that I'm here because if I've been at work, there's a good chance. And then they close at a certain time and, um, so there's a good chance that I might not have gotten my package. Now, these were the shelves. Now, they're, they were $25 for four of them, um, which is not, it's not a small, it's not a huge amount of money, but it's also not a small amount of money. And I used all four of them in my bedroom to fold towels and stuff like that with and put CPAP machine stuff, which I found some on Timu, which I made another order on Timu, specifically for those drawers. Not anything else. Um, because I like them so much and um, they're exactly what I want. They don't cost a whole lot of money, but they're sturdy enough uh, that they're a good value for the money. So I got some of those coming. Now they're probably gonna, they're gonna be in here later. So as I'm doing this stuff here in the living room, getting everything organized, things will be reorganized or rehomed in different spots or for organizing but that's fine they'll be where they're supposed to be at and then it'll just be a reorganizing so that'll be fine um so anyway so that being said so that was a little concerning you know because they've been bringing them up to my porch like they're supposed to and then all of a sudden they, this guy just didn't and it's not heavy that's the thing it wasn't hot in a day it wasn't heavy so i'm like what the fuck bro anyway not the point of story point of story is i got my stuff got some things done and those are my plans for today. Um, I'm feeling good today like I was yesterday. I'm feeling, you know, being productive. Uh, we're going to see how it goes. Today I got my tank top on because I'm going to be riding my bike out. And, uh, yeah. Uh, lunch. I know because you're all wondering what I'm going to have for lunch. I'm going to have a smoothie for lunch. Uh, yesterday, you know, I've been having salad stuff, which has been great for the pooper system, let me tell you. Um, I believe what I'm going to do is I'm going to have some pasta and salad and I'm going to mix that the pasta I made last night. I'll put some of that into my, um, into my salad and I'm going to have that for dinner this evening and, uh, lunch. I'm just going to have a smoothie, keep it comfy, cozy, keep it light, you know, nice hearty smoothie, get some beets in there. Um, now here's the thing about beets. We're going to get off topic for a second. Um, the thing about beets is if you introduce beets into your diet slowly, right? Let's say you put them into a smoothie and you put like a cube, all right? You start with one cube of whatever it is, no matter how big it is. You start with one cube of beet and you do this daily, right? Put in your smoothie daily. Over time, you can add more, uh, more cubes to that and that dirt or earthy taste uh, becomes more of like a seasoning taste rather than the front runner. And then you can taste the sweetness in the beets and stuff like that because your body is getting what it needs. And um, yeah, and it's really good for the liver, great for the kidneys. I mean, great for the overall body, but especially the liver and kidneys because it helps your body to clean the blood out and remove toxins and things like that um, and do all things and help the body do what needs to be done. Anyway, so peace out. Live your best life. 
I will see you later in the next video. I might do an evening video this time. I'm not going to do a cooking video because I've already cooked things, but uh, live your best lives. Thanks, bros.